Hello folks, Clyde Lindsay here from Pixel Pro Displays. Thanks again for joining us for the next video in the layout video series build. So whenever you're in X Lights and you're working on creating your layout, I hope you are finding these nine videos we posted. I believe this is video number 10. And uh, last video we went through the arches and today what we're going to jump into is we're going to show you all about or a little bit about, not all about, the um, the create new download. So first of all it might be important to have access to the internet to do this. You are downloading a model from the x -Lights website so you might have to be connected to the internet so we're we're gonna go ahead and begin but before we do this video is brought to you today by the PPD sequence club and our vendors if you haven't joined the PPD sequence club you get one awesome sequence each month you also get preset effects for each month as well as access to the huge savings from our PPD vendors such as Boscoya Studios extreme lighting displays CFOL wired Watts Wizards of Wire Scott LED twisted decals we have CCL controllers, pixel sequencing, showstopper sequences, and holiday sequences. So folks, if you're interested in getting some awesome savings from those vendors and more such as Matos Designs and Pixels 2 things, then consider joining the PPD Sequence Club and getting on board with some of the greatest deals that you can find in the hobby today. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and begin. When, when the reason we have this create new download button is because there's a number of models that you can find or purchase from vendors and one of those vendors is Boscoya Studios and the, the vendor has taken the time to make an arrangement to be inside the X-Lite program and whenever you click on this one time what we'll do is we'll click and drag out, we'll create a model and now x -Lights will then go to the download model screen. So inside here is a bunch of interesting things. Uh, this is a DMX fixture library. Uh, these are all s sorts of different props that are available for download that are inside the X Lights, uh, inside the X Lights program itself. Once again, check for internet connection. You might need it. Uh, so from here, you have different options. You have the Christmas. Uh, the Christmas lineup. You also have the Halloween lineup. The, this is a Valentine's Day lineup, and this is Easter. So uh, always, if you can't find something, go to the Others section. You might find the model in the Others section uh, of Halloween. Here's the Others, and this is Valentine's Day. And then you have Easter, and there's a number of other uh, models. Now, this at, at, at this moment, it is updated the best that I can tell you. I do know that there are a number of models that are still uh, yet to be added. They are creating new models each and every week. Actually, not models, but they're creating new props every week. So just keep in mind that it's hard to manufacture and produce into x lights at the same time because people do tend to wire things differently. Now, a number of these I have take, partaken in uh, building the models and updating the models, and uh, specifically some of the newer ones that are the high-res Coro. Uh, those could be found uh, in in some of the certain areas. The the uh, the candy. Uh, the, I'm sorry. The pumpkins can be found in here. Let's see. Halloween. Let's see. Singing elements. Uh, some of these. Those are these are the the ones I believe from 2015. Uh, here's the chatty ghosts and so forth. This is the new high res Frankenstein. I know I did him. This is the Jolly Roger. We have. Oh, this one is the singing pumpkin. This one should be in there. I did upload that. And then we have the the skull, which is the sugar skull. And uh, so these are some of the most uh, popular, quote unquote, newer ones. Um, but we'll go ahead and we'll grab the singing skull here. That seems to be one that is very popular among among with others, the Frankenstein. We'll just do Frankie. I like Frankie. So basically, that's all you have to do in order to import one of the models. Now, I think one of the most important things is once you uh, do download these models, it's important that you go to the model download first, import the model into your layout, and then go right-click, and you can look at the node layout. So this is the node layout as it stands. It's hard to see this because it's so huge. This is a really large prop. Um, but if we right click, we can also go onto the wiring view and you can physically see how we wired this up. Now there was no pixel splicing at all whatsoever for this model and you should have no issues getting it to work. 
Uh, so I had us beginning the model here at the bottom cheekbone where we started at number one and we went around uh, clockwise. This is counterclockwise because it's in the reverse view. I think we can reverse it rear front. We can, this would be how he looks in the front. And we went clockwise around him. Uh, and there are all submodels, specifically for this one, there's submodels that have been created to outline the eyeballs and the head and the little bolts here on the side of the head and, um, and the hair and so forth. So there are submodels included with some of these. Uh, and, and you can see that this was rather easy to, to work through. It wasn't, it wasn't really hard. But once again, there's no splicing involved. What you do have to be aware of is whenever you are downloading some models, there are some models that are much harder to, to, uh, to wire. And the reason being is because other people have shared their version of the, um, of the model. So I'm going to go to some of the Christmas singing elements. We'll go to, let's see if we can find the tree. Where's the tree? Where's the tree? This here tree, he's cutie. He's awesome. Um, I have this, and I believe there is going to be an additional uh, singing tree coming out. Uh, there's the singing tree with presents. This is the, the high-res core uh, decor model. Um, that it, it that's all submodeled out. That was a lot of fun to do. And uh, there's the singing Santa. He's a hopefully it connects to it. There he is. I, that that one here. This is all submodeled out as well. Um, so it's also important to be mindful of other props because the way the way that I model a um, a prop may not necessarily be the exact same way that you might create the model for your prop. And so, for example, uh, snowflakes, the 24-inch the, um, the snowflakes, these seem to be pretty common. Um, I usually go with a three-prong fancy. These are my favorite. These are rather easy, in my opinion, to um, model on your own, but it's nice to have them ahead of time. And you can obviously go in here, look at the node layout. I want to go to the wiring view. That's what I wanted to go to. And and as you can see here, this person started this model here in the middle, and he skipped over, and he made it so that you don't have to, or they made it, um, uh, to made it so that you could just skip from one hole to the next and leapfrog back. That way, you don't have to put any splicing in. So that's also important. It really is important to go to the model download, find the model first, and if you don't see the model in X lights, uh, then maybe go to the groups and ask the question, hey, does anybody have the model for this specific uh, model? But this is all you have to do to get in uh, to getting the model first, because once you have the, the model inside X lights, you can always right click and pull up the wiring diagram. And once you pull up the wiring diagram, you can right click and you can print this. You can print this in, you can change this to, from uh, dark to light. And obviously, um, when you change it from dark to light, this is easier to print, easier to read. And you can obviously, like I said, print it out and you can have this hanging up. Um, me, I personally like to sit at, I have the computer open and I usually uh, have the model sitting in front of me. So I can push the pixels as I'm looking at specifically at the model. And usually it's no big deal. It's rather easy for me to do this from the computer screen. But by all means, if you're in a workshop, you can just print this out and have this to refer to from your future builds and so forth. So guys, that's going to wrap it up for this one. Like this video if you like it. Share it with your friends if you love it. Remember to hit the big red subscribe tag over here on the bottom right of your screen and get subscribed as well as the bell for notifications for when new videos come out to help you along in your pixel learning and so forth. Finally, if you haven't done yet, so please, please, please join us over in the Pixel Pro University Facebook group where we have a huge community that is so helpful that you should totally join and get your questions answered. Of course, folks, if you like the content we produce here at Pixel Pro Displays on our YouTube channel, consider subscribing to us for one month of the PPD Sequence Club to show your support for what we do here for the community and for everybody out there who is trying to learn more about RGB and pixels. Folks, this is Clyde, and I'm signing off. We'll see you in the next video. Every time it rains, it rains.